I really like this intro music, this uh, main menu music, it's really cool. Hey there guys and welcome to uh, a quick look tutorial and gameplay. I also have to say the tutorial in kind of like a questioning way, because I'm never sure if the game has a full tutorial or, you know, whether you can class being introduced to a game slightly as a tutorial. I, I haven't played this game yet, so we're going to take a look at it together. Um, this is Ancestors Legacy, uh, and it was sent to me by the devs, and they said that I might enjoy this game. And honestly, having a look at it, I think I might enjoy it too. So we'll start off with Off the Course, the first... I've got uh, the first three missions, and we'll see how long the... Uh, oh, okay. I'll be quiet for a second. A storm was approaching the shores of the kingdom of Northumbria. A few months earlier, all things... The Council of Vikings made the decision to plunder its largest abbey, the famous Lindisfarne. One of the leaders of this expedition was Jarl Ulf Ironbeard, a stern but respected man among his people. However, it wasn't meant for all of the Northmen to reach Lindisfarne by the sea. A storm that hit the coast of Northumbria has scattered some of their ships miles away from their destination. Ulf's raiding party landed near a town called Bambara. The Northmen saw it as an easy target to plunder. Little did they know that all of Northumbria was just coming out of a bloody civil war. Troops of a new King Eithald were battling remnants of recently murdered King Osred's loyal army. For this reason, heavy garrisons were scattered throughout the country, and one of them was stationed just outside Bambara. Oh, okay. So it's based around the same era as how Vikings starts off. You can re-recruit squ your squads in villages you or your teammate own. Interesting. That's really nice art as well, can I just say. I really like that. So select all squads on the map, press Control a okay. So yeah, um, we're going to have a look at this. Uh, there are three missions uh, available to me, because this is kind of like, uh, consider it almost like a demo. Um, so we're going to have a look at it, and we're going to see how the game is. Destructive Creations. It's in runes. It, it, it's, it's in what looks like runes, so it was a little hard for me to read. 1C com Company. Okay, so this is this is probably um, cinematic. I'm guessing. There's a rock there. Okay. Oh. I mean, if you're that bad at seafaring that you run into a rock like that, uh, I can only call you. Come, on, you're supposed to be Vikings, guys. Come on. Are even any Vikings going to make it onto land? Oh, this is this is very um this is very D-Day landings as well. Yeah, not quite as, as uh, high profile. No. Oh damn! Got hit in the head. Can you imagine falling into sea in that armor? Jesus. Now you see, in a in a kind of strategy type game, I actually really appreciate these these kind of cinematics. I think it adds quite a nice feel to a game that will then go kind of not top down necessarily, but you know what I mean. Like if they had, uh, I think there are a few others who who've done it. Like maybe Company of Heroes kind of did it a little bit, but this is really sim cinematic. I love it. Wow, and this dude is oh. Sorry, mate. I feel like I kind of doomed you by saying you were doing really well. Oh, this music as well. Oh, so is this the game? Ah. 
ancestors. All right, I'm okay. I'm down so far. I'm down for this shit. Um, it's looking good. Meet with Ulf, okay. So these guys are allies, I guess. Okay. Oh, is this a... Uh... Squad, okay. So with any squad, you can press and hold secondary mouse button, drag in it, uh, then command the squad to face it once they get there. Okay, so we can be like, we can be like, face this way. Or face this way, like that. Okay. So we're just using one squad at the moment. Press secondary mouse. Uh, to... Okay, selecting squads. Select multiple squads. I, I don't think I'm going to have to... So we have to protect Ulf. Okay. Is there is there a way to, like, combine them together? Doesn't look like it. Looks like this storm has set it all off the course. No time to waste. We should uh, have him behind. Oh. Yeah, no, that's very true. Okay, so flank defenders. This does this does feel very uh, very D Day in a way, like you know, flank the defenders and, and and these kind of things. That's quite cool. How how close in can we? Oh damn! Can we change the camera view? No, it doesn't look like it. So yeah, you can get pretty pretty close in. And uh, by the way, guys, those of you who are, who may be wondering or or anything like that. Um, Oh, we should get the archers then. Okay, so you can actually flank as well. Interesting. Here we go. Never be an archer. Really appreciate your help. Lead the way. Okay, so is it like... Okay, so now we just got all of these guys. Okay, awesome. So yeah, let's uh, let's charge right into these archers here. Uh, use raised shields by choosing the appropriate button. And oh, I see, I see. So we click that, and they shields up. That's awesome. Yeah, screw you guys. You're outnumbered, and we got our shields up. There we go. That's cool. Makes an enemy squad unable to retreat. Ooh. Okay, they're just engaged in melee now, I guess. So we lost, uh, we lost, a, we've lost a couple of warriors. Looks like a couple are injured. Um. It's not too bad though, so far. We got Ulf here as well. Oh, got some friendly fire going on. We need to destroy these buildings to prevent reinforcements. Okay. Right, let's go as a team over to here and burn this. Gentlemen. We flanked them as well, that's good. You two, here. Boom, nice. How's Ulf doing? Ah, Ulf's fine. Yeah, no, he's, he's good. Okay, so beginning so far liking it 
really, really am liking it. And it looks like it's got some interesting... It looks like it's got some interesting base building mechanics, maybe, as well. Can we kill... We can't kill the villagers, okay. One, one thing they may need to sort out a little bit is... Um, uh, is... The units seem to kind of stick to the fight, even when they're not really needed there. So, like, maybe if you... Because I was... Uh, I, I was clicking to say, like, to say, like, go burn the building. And they, the, all of these guys were still fighting the last person. Even though, you know, even though most of them weren't fighting. So maybe, like, having having the, the soldiers be a little more independent from their squads. Uh, in the sense of, like, you know, if they're all attacking this and then... There's an enemy unit over here. Well, let, let's say let's say there's an enemy unit here, and some of them are in, some of them are engaged in the fight. That to then move over and start uh, to then move over and you know like if 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 only five of all of these guys can be those are ours. That's destroyed. Are those ours? Okay, they're just. just at this point, you're just... Okay, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if... if you, you see here, like, uh, these guys are engaged in a fight. If there were only a few of them, and, like, say, half of our forces were engaged in the fight, to then switch over and, st and you know, have them do other things as well would be great. You know, it's like seeing here, a lot of the guys at the back here not necessarily engaged in the fight to uh, to move them over would be nice i could see it being a problem for as as a general you know kind of going on but yeah no so so far from what i've seen of the game the game as it stands i'm very impressed i like it And you know it's uh, um, the release date, uh, from what they said in the uh, in the in the email they sent is uh, quarter two, twenty eighteen. So this way. got a couple of horses. Oh snap. Are they gonna burn our boats? Press the change formation toggle button in the squad menu. Okay, change formation. Okay, so they're in a defensive formation. Maybe maybe like here? Oh, that's that's not good. This way. There we go. That's better. A little bit of friendly fire going on there. So, offensive and defensive. Okay. Let's get the shields in here. And now we can maybe get off in here as well. Doesn't seem to be a way to change the view. But let's look at here. Squad formations. Uh, we don't need to about know about that or that. Uh, shieldmen can raise shields, but it lowers their overall attack. Defense and view distance. Use it before attacking range units. Swap back once the flight starts. What's that? Fear. Okay. So they got like spear wall and chase. We've got change formation. Okay. We're having issues. Let's uh, let's pull back. We can't pull back. Okay. Interesting. Because we're taking quite a lot of damage. I 
Can scouts fight? Well, we'll find out. Yeah, this, this was a bad place to actually fight, it looks like. Alright, well, whoopsie doodle. I can't pull them out of this. Click the retreat button the squad. Okay, to fall back safely. Okay, so I didn't realize, but we weren't supposed to win that. So that, ma that makes a bit of more sense, I guess. Okay. So that's the first mission, looks like. That's, that's the basic tutorial, like, teaching you about the basics of the game, I guess. And then I guess they'll go into the baseball? The oh. Enemy. Cut off from their ships, the Northmen had to escape. Those who did not retreat in time lost their lives or became captives. Once harsh invaders looking for prey, the Northmen suddenly became prey themselves. Luckily, they found salvation in a nearby forest, which became their temporary shelter. Here, they could catch a moment of respite from the pursuing Britons. Well, they weren't Britons at this point. Jarl Ulf Ironbeard, who suffered injuries during the fight, could heal his wounds and recover. However, a new problem arose for the people of the North. Uh, maybe not. In order to survive and to have any chance to join the rest of the expedition against Lindisfarne, they had to gather food and supplies. Man, this artwork's really cool, but there is no one attractive in this at all you know like the priests are fat and and like rah, rah, rah. and the 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 northumbrians are really kind of gross and like rah. and then the the vikings are all uh scraggly and hobo-y okay rebuilding forces see i really like this i really like this But if they're not dead, okay. You know what? It's fine. It's our scout. He's back. I found food supplies. There is a farm and a hunting hut north from here. If we plunder both places, we will have food for many days. We cannot go. We need to patch our wounds. Take care of your warriors, brother. Ah, get those supplies. Yarr. Okay, so plunder food. Keep it quiet. Lots of enemies nearby. I'll be scouting the nearby area. Um, so what do we do here? Come, do we have any... Doesn't look like we have anything we can do right now, so we just gotta go collect the food. To replenish your squad, use retreat. Or go back to a camp Oh, okay. So we, we go back to, if we hit retreat, they'll head back here, and then chase, use their spears to create a defensive wall, more resistance to attack, but they cannot move, okay, uh, patch themselves up, make some vulnerable, okay, so I, I guess we've, we've healed as much as we can, and we can't get new members of a squad. So, we just have these three guys to go get the food. Oh, okay. Okay. Don't get too close to the light, or they'll notice us. So there's a guard there. So we go into here. 
And then how do we ambush him? Let's see what it says. Uh, forest is a good place. Seek shelter from arrows. Mounted squads also partially hide squads from enemy sight. High grasses, as long as you stay inside, the enemy is on outside. It can give you significant tactical advantage. Okay, so... Okay, so that was ambushing. So I, I was worried that I was going to get that wrong. Okay, so where are our... I don't see our stats. Maybe that maybe... I'm not sure how the resources work. Man, I want to play this... I want to... Honestly, I want to play the full game uh, already. Okay, so the hunting heart is all the way up here. So I guess we'll go to probably about here, most likely. And there'll be a... Uh... Yeah. Like I'm doing! Okay. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, like, so far, the mechanics in this game are really interesting. Well, don't say anything. That ruins it. Is there anything up there? I'm kind of tempted to look and see. Look, an abandoned camp. It'll be a good place to rest. Oh, okay. Taking our allies somewhere. Where am I? Where are my spearmen? Okay, there. My spearmen are here. And it looks like the allies are going up that way. I guess that's for healing. Uh, that bit there. And it looks like there are... Uh, there are some... Squads... Around here, like we can see the light, but we can't see them. Are these guys gonna come back or? All right, let's let's go. All right, so we should. Oh no, 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 no. We should go this way. Okay, so up this way. Oh, and into there. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Wow, I like. I really like this game. Okay. So. Clear the enemy camp. How do we clear the enemy camp? Oh, we have to go over here. So we should go over here for the food regardless. Which means we have to keep an eye on this guy. And I'd say we definitely don't want to alert him. There does seem to be a light there. So if we come up this way, we should be able to get here. There I can only I can only see one light that's we moving. Let's get rid of the guards. Okay, so there's uh there's some farmers there as well. There. So we should come right back here and then where's the Okay, so there's a there's a unit of there's a unit of those guys there. I wonder if we can kill these guys before like I wonder if killing these guys alerts these guys. Like do we want to attack them both together basically or one by one? Also, I don't know what these symbols and stuff mean.
Okay. So he managed to take out those guys. Yeah, it seems like attacking them first is the good idea. That that combat's pretty cool. It's hard to see when they're like all bunched up together. I think maybe kind of having them in a bit more formation-y, you know, not quite a rabble might be quite might be good. Okay, so plunder. 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 That's the order. Poor bastard. His squad must have wandered off when he retreated from the beach. Okay. It seems like they wanted to get some food and got killed by the Brits. Food. Still no Brits. Wait, there's a blood trail. Maybe someone survived. We need to find out. Okay, so look for survivor time. Oh, we actually follow the blood trail. Cool. Nope. Oh, there, there's uh, more of a blood trail up this way. An axe. It looks like Goblin's craft. It belongs to one of us. We must be getting close. We've got eyes on the enemy. Oh, okay. Must have taken our brother. We have to get them out. There's too many of them. We should eliminate one squad at a time. If we burn this village, someone will come to check what's going on. Okay. Liberate allied squads. I'm on it. So we want to surprise this guy. I'm sure he'll come back momentarily. So this will probably be quite a long video. Um, I would do two videos on this. Don't know where that guy went. Oh, there he is. I would do two videos on this, but I feel like one video for the, for the kind of like, you know, there's no reason to do a second, basically, I don't feel. And I could probably just uh, I could I could probably actually just there we go. This won't work. We need to find something more flammable. Okay. Yeah. Use cart to burn houses, okay. Burn it to the ground. There we go. So Yeah, I th I think one video, so we'll do all three missions. Uh, in one video, which means this video will be pretty long, guys. I mean, you'll know that, but, uh... They see us? Okay, they didn't see us. Good. So let's see what they do. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to... Want to ambush. There. There we go. Take one of them out really quickly. And then take that guy. Wait, is he... Oh, no. He didn't spot us, I guess. Ooh, we're taking damage. Why are we taking so much damage? 
Guys. Remember, we can always retreat to the base and replenish our squad. God damn. Why did they do so much damage to us? We got one surviving guy. And I told you to retreat. Wow. Okay, let's uh let's actually cuz as I said this will probably take a while. Um I do we Do we do unexpected allies or Let's just I'll just take a very quick look guys at what the f second uh mission consists of uh mission goal free imprisoned ally imprisoned allies to gather enforcements uh okay there's that as well introduces stealth mechanics and multi squad tactics uh, okay let's so apologies if if the devs see, if if the devs see this which i doubt they will uh, apologize to the dev apologies to the devs but i don't understand why we got our asses kicked in that and um maybe if you set a maybe set it so that if you set a retreat they keep retreating all the way to the base instead of if they encounter new al uh, enemies they you know uh so we'll go for unexpected allies and we'll do this mission because i this think this mission I joined the northmen in their raid on Lindisfarne. Ethel had held me captive for months and that was my chance to get even when Jarl ulf ironbeard regained his strength and we collected enough supplies we could finally head on to join the rest of the expedition. However, the road to Lindisfarne was not an easy one. Every once in a while, we encountered Ethel's troops. Our supplies ran out faster than we were able to loot the surrounding villages. It was then that the scouts noticed an approaching caravan with food and weapons. We prepared an ambush, not expecting that someone else was preparing to attack it as well. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so unexpected allies. Uh, you can re-recruit squad. Yeah, we know about that. Um, so yeah. I'd like to completely do that mission, but I don't think we have enough time in the video to start again. And um, I, think it, I think it's best to get to the kind of meat and potatoes of this. Is there any way to pause? It doesn't look like it. There we go. So apparently a charge is really important. A rear attack and surrounding is, you know, same thing. Like, pretty important. You guys uh, go help there. Okay, good job. You're lucky we were close. They might have killed you. Come, let's talk to Rodga, our chieftain. Find the renegade camp, okay. We are loyal to the past King Osred the Second, betrayed by the new King Othelred. We are here to retaliate. I think it's Ethelred, but these are Northmen who have been beaten during their raid near Vandera. Now they have to join their forces near Lindisfarne. Okay. On the move! So we got two heroes and two units, looks like. And the road to Lindisfarne is blocked. We'll help you take the enemies down. There are two villages nearby. Let's force peasants to gather food and wood for us. This game is really interesting. Seek the woods nearby. The enemies will surely try to reclaim the villages. Uh, take some of our soldiers with you. Okay. To recruit spearmen, select the ballot bar barracks and Okay. What does that cost? Uh 52 wood, some food, and the food is going down currently. I'm done waiting. Okay. Be nice also if you could kind of like attach these guys. 
that you guys should heal up. Okay. So we've got that done. So what have we got here? Man, the, the, the stealth stuff is really important, it looks like. I'm gonna have to gather this food and stuff as well. Kind of puts a time limit. I see them, I see them. There we go. Maybe auto flanking. Like, you can see these guys in the back here not doing anything. Maybe some form of auto flanking would be a, a good good idea, possibly. Okay. Now which side? We probably want to come up from this side, I think. Oh, there's another. There's a unit of spears right there. See, these guys aren't doing anything, but I can't turn them around to fight. That That is a bit of an oversight, in my opinion. It doesn't lend itself tactically as, as I'd like. Kind of, you know, so like, moving these guys around here doesn't really work because they get engaged and they automatically start fighting where they are. Being able to being able to move these guys or having them move themselves around would would make a lot more sense. Okay, so we've got a trap that instantly kills a few enemies. It's good to know. Okay, so we've got Dismiss Squad, Replenish. We need to be close to a recruitment place, and we need Iron, which we don't have. Okay, good to know. But we healed up, which is uh, important. Losing a guy was a bit of a shame. We probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, we've, got, we've got some wood over here that we can gather. See, we do, we do flank them very slightly, but all of these guys at the back make no sense to me. One of the squads leveled up. Uh, yeah, a little bit of speed sounds good to me. So where should we attack first? Okay. Let's go. Okay, so let's set up here. And then let's have uh, this unit. Uh, we can't make the... Why can't we make the traps? Spearman, warrior, okay. Uh, can you chase, change formation? Okay. Can no one make these traps? Uh, let's actually have you guys heal while we're at it. Uh, you've got rage. Increases squad's attack, also lowers defense. It doesn't seem to be a way to, like, assign them to a squad. Which would be nice, but... Okay, so we can't do any of that uh, that stuff. Uh, the only way to approach this does appear to be up this road. So let's go up this road. And we should destroy this. Oh, capture the village hall. Oh, no. There. Attack them. Attack them. Taking too much damage from the flank. 
And I need you to go after them. Come on. As soon as you can. As soon as you can. As soon as you can. There you go. There you go. You're almost there. No idea what you're doing. See, now you're going to get flat. Okay, no, no. We got it. We got it. Okay, good. I was going to say, they were just about to get flanked, but... And look at this! What are you guys doing? That's terrible. Uh, offensive. I'm losing all my spearmen here. There we go. Okay, let's get these spearmen up here. Replace that unit that got destroyed. Come on. Take them out. There's one guy left. There we go. Take this food. Do they have any recruitment buildings? It doesn't look like it. You just killing random... Yep, they're just killing random civilians. Okay. Oh, so we... We actually attack this building instead of... Uh, okay. That works. It should be a bit more clear, I think. Like, you know, saying like, okay. Let's make these beautiful peasants work for us. Select a village, okay. All food, yeah. Okay, so you go to here and you click all food and you recruit peasants to gather your food and your... Okay, uh, what we need to do now is we need to... And we'll get, uh, we'll get people to offensive and replenish as well. Okay. So hopefully we'll rebuild our troops a little bit. Gonna recruit them to gather, um... We're going to recruit them to gather some more uh, some more uh, wood as well. May as well. Food big captured. Good, good. We're only, we're only minus three food now, which is nice. Are those units ours? No, okay. Well, it's good to ask. So we're gathering food here. I guess this is food big. It's a little unclear. What do we need to do over here? Oh, go back to the renegade camp. I'm guessing we have to we don't have to do that next, right? Like we should capture the fish fishing village as well. What it What are you guys doing? Oh, we need iron to replenish them. Let's go there. Oh no, they've got shields up, that's why. Shields down. Ready. Okay, so yeah, now we should go down here and take this place. Which, technically speaking, I think should be easier. Man, look at those freaking... Can we get some villagers to clear bodies, maybe? It's very unhygienic. Get some spearmen in on them. 
And again, it's like the worst tactical position they could be in. Like, at the very least, I guess it's not too bad, seeing as the back guys aren't shooting at us, but uh, still. Sorry, like, uh, don't don't get me wrong, by the way, guys. I may be a bit grumbly, but I, I do really like the look of this game so far. Um, I like the ideas of it, and uh, just the fact that there's all these woods and stuff like that, you know, and it, it's they utilized seems very cool to me. Burn this down while they're killing the last of the uh, the guys. Interestingly, they don't have spears and shields, which uh, I'm I, I don't know why that is. So who are you? Your spears. Let's have you be offensive. Um, all the rest of them are fine. Bring you in here. Do we, we? We lost a couple of people. Okay. Let's have them met up, uh, and we'll have you all food. Can you? Not all food? Yeah, all food. There we go. So that's going to set the villagers to all food. What's this? Village. He can send workers to gather required resources. Command them to defend the village. Okay. Food big captured. Where would that be? Was that this? That must be this. Yeah. So now we're getting positive food and positive wood. Okay, that's good. And now we've got to return. And return. Captured small food as well. I wonder if we build a unit of spearmen, if it will actually... Um, if we build a unit of spearmen, will it actually be like, okay, cool. But I, re I, you know what? I really, really like how they've because I was wondering to myself, you know, like, how are they going to deal with the fact that these these Vikings are by themselves, you know, in effect? And the idea that the Vikings have to go out and capture... Um, can we maybe... Let's have a look at this. No, it doesn't like look like you can... Uh, there's technologies and stuff as well. That's cool. Um... Yeah, just the fact that we we have to you have to go out and capture villages and then set them to gathering food for you and stuff. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's that's interesting. Okay. All right. So what do we have over here? Those are archers. Oh, okay. Maybe maybe that's in the future. It do it doesn't say anything about us uh us needing to Wow. What is that? Looks like a hell of a fight. Go to here to check it out. Maybe actually just skirt it. Go through the woods. Let's get there fast. Can't exactly go through the woods. Go to there. Skirt the edge of it. Looks like a hell of a fight. Are those cows? No, those are horses. Those must be horses. They shouldn't be far away. That's fine. I know where they are. They're over the... No, no. They're over here. This way. Maybe I should have gone here first. What? 
Who the hell are those slowpokes there? How are you guys so slow? Okay, so they 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 were in um they are in defensive formation, which makes them slower. Okay, jolly good. I could see me being really bad at this, by the way. You're also in defensive formation. There you are. Come with us. We need your help. Okay. So all of you guys over this way to here. Let's actually put you here like that, yeah. So what we probably need Are they coming over the They're coming over the bridge. Okay. Also, what are you guys doing? Okay. Look at this. We should we should be destroying them, but they're just they're just grouping about. I'd say like definitely that needs to be dealt with. Um You know, uh, wait, are you Okay. Yeah, definitely something like this needs to be dealt with. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff, uh, but the like having the having the flanking, uh, the flanking ability, having the uh, having the the idea of flanking and being outnumbered and stuff like that is very cool. But at the same time, you have to set it up so that. If your warriors all kind of like slump into an enemy formation, they should also. Sniping them out is definitely wiser than frontal charge. Okay. So what we want is we want. Defensive positions, uh, maybe, oh no, you can't do that, you guys move back, you guys move back, wait, no, 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 don't build it there, okay, okay well, how about you guys? Okay, so here. Yeah, build it there. Okay, so back we go. There we are. Okay, so you guys are in defensive. Let's have you raise shields. Put you here. Put you here. Have you guys like that. Okay, so let's uh, move our archers forward. What's this? Uh, covering you. Small stat boost for surrounding our, our allies. Okay. So let's move you forward a bit. Have you fire at them. Now move back here. Let's have uh, these guys ready to charge them out. So archers should start firing momentarily. Nice. And then we'll charge in like this. That should do. And uh, you guys as well.
There we are. They've got bad morale for a start. Okay, and what we'll do now is we'll select everyone. Yeah, everyone. And have them go across. And the shields should... Okay, no, the shields aren't going first. God damn it. And they're, they're scooping together. Don't scoop together. Well, the spears went first because they're faster. That's really annoying. This has gone badly. And these guys at the back are stuck. Okay. Guys. Go. You guys there. You there. Okay, there we go. And you guys can go forward a bit. Definitely needs a little more work on uh, on a few things, but for the most part, I like it. Um, and and again, like this is a demo, and like the game isn't coming out yet, so. So let's burn this stuff. I don't know what all these things are. Maybe something to let you know what certain things are would be good. I'm guessing we should destroy these because these are like enemy, uh, enemy production building type things. Like uh, maybe they're recruitment staff, maybe they're something else. I, d I don't know, but it's, it's probably worth uh, destroying them regardless. And it looks like there's nothing else here. I mean, look at this. This is so intricate and, and interesting. You know, maybe uh, in terms of game. Um, you know, in, in terms of, like, uh, actual game mechanics. It's not that important. Uh, it's not that important that it looks like this. But, just from a standpoint of playing a game... It's really nice when games do things like this, you know, they just make the actual, the actual mine look really interesting. Oh, are we burning that building too? Let's, uh, heal up, guys. Just give them a little time to heal up, and then we should be on our way. Yeah, so, um... It's not, like, so, be, being being very clear, like, I'm not great at micromanaging. Uh, I'm, I'm not kind of great at being like, okay, you guys go here, you guys go, go here. Um, I think a lot of people would have... I think these guys are still in defensive formation. I think a lot of people would have ish would, would have issues with basically um wow okay i think a lot of people's would a lot of people would have issues with pretty much putting up a i destroyed those though uh with with putting up a um uh, uh you know kind of the combat the way the combat is is very cool uh it would be nice maybe to have a pause or a slow motion just for people who aren't as good possibly at micromanagement i think even people who are good at micromanagement would have issues with how the uh would have issues with how the the game uh, the combat can go because uh shields down because you get a lot of instances okay that's raised shields uh, you get a lot of instances where, where you kind of, um, you move into combat and then you can't, you can't pull your guys out of combat. You can't move them around. We'll take these 
I'm guessing that uh, bridge there, this here is the main way we, we're going to go over. Which, yeah. Most likely. Okay, so... Um, okay, so we can up upgrade for 100. Interesting. First thing we should really do is replenish. So we'll replenish all of our squads. Uh, and these guys are on full, so... Okay, so upgrade, and we'll, we'll rank them up. Uh, can't upgrade them, okay. Upgrade them. We need more iron. I wonder why our food... Like, also, information like, why are... Is it because we're over the number of units we should have, maybe? You know, those those kind of things are very useful to know as well. Uh, and it looks like we can upgrade them wherever they are, so... Oh, we need to upgrade armor for at least... Three squads. Do we do it with these guys too? No, but they can rank up. Definitely make him offensive. These guys, these guys have speed, actually. Let's have them... Uh, because there's some iron back here as well. So let's have them run back and grab this iron. Pro probably should have done that. I wasn't really thinking. And I made them offensive, which doesn't make any sense at all. Upgrade the armor for some of our spears. Okay. Now, give them hell. Okay. Still not British, but okay. Okay, let's grab everyone and send them out to here-ish. Yeah, here-ish. We'll, so we'll sort out the formation uh, in a bit. Okay, so this will probably be the end. We'll have a, we'll have a little chat at the end about what I think. I mean, it's, it's fairly obvious, my opinions. I think it's a good game. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. And I'm definitely looking forward to playing more. Uh, apparently there are four factions. The Vikings, the... Uh, maybe, maybe there's different factions of the British, possibly. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, apparently there are four factions. I might be able to see this while there... Does this pause the game? Doesn't look like it. Okay, cool. Uh, let's have a look here. Does it say... Uh, historically accurate real-time strategy game it, it influenced by historical events middle ages resource management base building with large large scale squad based battles uh, I'm swear it says somewhere about how many uh, factions there are I think I think it's four different factions hey it, it may just it may just be the uh, the, the Vikings I'm not hundred percent sure but uh, in lieu of not knowing, let's say that it's uh, it's four factions, <laughs> and then if I'm wrong, uh, you guys can blame blame me for that later. Okay, let's just give these last this last spear unit uh, an armor upgrade. Only take a moment, and then we can run across and uh, and do battle. I do kind of like that you have to upgrade them individually as well. Oh, uh, no. We're getting friendly fire going on as well, which is a bit of a shame. 
that kind of thing, that kind of thing always hits me because I don't like that. I, you know, like it's, I find it hard sometimes to accept friendly fire, unless it's like the Skaven. You know, who cares about the Skaven? This ravine looks suspicious. Use defensive formations to find and destroy any traps. Keep a lookout. Destroy that building. So defensive formation helps us find and destroy traps. Okay. Gonna have to remember that. Oh. There we go. Found another one. Imagine putting some archers up there. Like those those scout towers as well would be assholes. Like put put those spike tracks up, and then have like archers and uh, and etc. up there. That would be nasty. Okay, so eliminate enemies, destroy the outpost. Okay. I think they've been alerted to us. Kill those archers right now. But we need to go into offensive formation. Ah, crap. Is anyone not stuck, like, in this stupid... See, now we're going to get flanked. And I can't do anything about it. Oh, God. It's really aggravating. Because I think we're going to die here now. Um, and there's not much I can do about it. Where are they going? Yeah, see, like, we, we got charged in the side. And m maybe that's why I needed to... Uh, I can't move anyone out of the combat though. They're stuck in this combat. And we're in we're in like we're look look at this. Look at this. We're in a really pathetic little little concentrated circle when we really shouldn't be. I mean, am I supposed to send in one unit and then send the others around the side? I I don't know. So we just passed the hour mark, guys, and I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to, you know, there's no, sa I couldn't have saved. I didn't check, so that's, it's it's still on me for not checking, but, uh, I mean, look at this guy. I told him to fight, and he's not even in the fight. So, yeah, I'd say definitely there's some improvements to be made here. Um, very cool idea, and as long as, long as they deal with some of the... AI problems that we're kind of having here. Uh, it'll be great. This guy's gonna die, so that that'll be the end of the mission. Um, I guess maybe what I'm supposed to do is like set up the set up the army. Set up the squads. Yeah, there you go. He died, so we were defeated. Maybe I have to, like, set up the squads to... To, like, they take the brunt and then, like, move them around the side. But the problem with that is if, if they come... Even if they come slightly close to the enemy, they all, they all charge in and they group up. And you can't... You can't kind of change that. You know, uh, so... It means the second that they're in combat, you can't, you can't kind of pull them away. Like you could retreat, but I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the retreat tactic, like you, you know, if you find yourself in a bad position like that, you retreat and then you try and do it differently. But it's, it seems very, uh, it seems very aggravating to deal with. You know, the best thing to be. Would be if you have if you have let's say like four squads in melee and you got one at the back who's kind of in melee but not really, the ability to move them freely and have them flank or have them go attack archers would make a lot more sense. So that is a little frustrating, and I'd say you know it's obviously something I would 
like them to deal with before the release of the game. Uh, hopefully, they will. But aside from that, great game. Like, really like the idea. It's got... It's... it's The most important thing about this game is that it's different enough from similar games to be to be worthwhile keeping an eye on and to consider like if you like these types of games they've innovated ever so slightly they've tweaked ever so slightly in a few different ways that i really like and uh and i'm looking forward to its release to be honest i probably will play this uh when it's released so hey when it's released keep an eye out for my let's play of this yeah uh so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video hope this was informative to you uh, and, you know, as I said, my advice, keep an eye on this game. It could be a good one. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Wow, that music timing, eh? <laughs>